Wet season is growing season in our top end landscape. When the wet season starts, the soil is proper wet from the rain. Gamba grass plants begin to grow. New lush leaves grow on top of the old gamba tussocks. Baby plants also start growing from seed in the soil. These plants grow quickly. Sometimes we notice new plants coming up on the roadside. It is important to look near where someone did roadworks or had camping spots. If you see some gamba, stop the car and get out. Pull up that plant and hang it in the tree. We want to stop it from growing big enough to make seeds. If the plant is too big to pull up, you can spray it with herbicide. We can do that while it's green and lush. It takes up the herbicide well. We spray it all over from every side. You need to check these places again after the next big rain to see if the gamba grass is dead. If we missed a bit before, we get that bit spray now. After a while, the weather changes and the spear grass turns brown. When the spear grass has gone brown, you can see the gamba grass real easy. There is still time to find and remove the gamba grass before it makes new seeds. When gamba plant starts to flower, we don't have much time left before it will make seed. When the gamba starts to flower, but before it makes seeds, it is a good time to burn. If the flowering stems burn, you stop these flowers from turning into seeds. It doesn't damage the trees as much if we burn the gamba when it's still green. We don't burn gamba grass while it has fresh seeds on it. When the plants are seeding, burning is bad because the fires make lots of hot air which climbs up into the sky. The hot air can carry gamba grass seeds from plants up into the air and spread them to new places. In gamba flowering and seeding season, we keep on checking for gamba plants when we are out and about doing our work. We do surveys along roadsides and visit places where we saw gamba before. We look for those tall flowering or seeding stems sticking up out of the grass. If we see a plant, we take a geotag photo or we mark the point with the GPS. We cut the seeds off and burn them. If the ground is soft, we pull up the plant. If it is too dry to do that, we tie a pink tape near the plant so we can find it again next year to poison it. In Gamba seeding season, we check our cars, equipment every Friday and make them clean. At this time of year, we are going lots of places and we don't want to accidentally spread weed seeds. We wash, blow and vacuum our cars and equipment. This is called doing weed hygiene. We try to never drive our cars into seeding patches of weeds because this could put seeds on our cars. In the dry season, we can't do any spraying on the gamba grass because the plants are rank and not actively growing. But we can check on our earlier treatment work and start thinking about what we will do in the next treatment season. We call this review and planning. We visit our treatment sites to see if our treatments worked. We think about how we can do things differently, better or more efficiently next time. We wait for the first rains when things start growing again. Once there is moisture in the soil, we can start spraying gamba grass again. While we are waiting, we can get our equipment ready and test it to make sure all is working. In places with lots of gamba grass, Slashing can be used to make gamba grass shorter. This helps with keeping fire breaks free from gamba. 
but it does not kill gamba and you also have to be careful not to spread gamba seeds on the slasher slashing can be done at any time of the year if the ground isn't boggy cattle buffaloes and other animals will graze gamba grass especially when it is growing and lush they also can trample tussocks if there are a lot of animals all together grazing and trampling can help keep the grass short and reduce fire risk but it does not kill gamba the animals only like to eat the fresh growth not the rank stems. It is important that together we all stop the spread of gamba grass.